Wide Open Outdoor Adventures with your host, Dave Valtiera. We'll make you a better sportsman. Subscribe to the Wide Open Sportsman YouTube channel today. It's day two on Wide Open Outdoor Adventures. More teal wing duck hunting coming your way and hopefully the fog clears and we get some serious, serious big numbers of those F-16s coming over and darting around. Whoa! Woo! Let's do it! <laughs> on today's setup, we are basically in the center of this very large pond or tank. And the landowner has rice fields and they drain these rice fields into this reservoir and hold the water for later use. Uh, saves them a lot of money, but it gives us an awesome opportunity to set up in the pattern of these teal wing ducks. Right there in the decoys. Get him, get him, get him, Dave, get him. Shot. You definitely Dang. got that one. Bird down. There you go. Send. Like <laughs> Send the dog. Oh, Missed him. He's still over now. Dead bird, fetch him up. Atta girl. Come, come, hold that bird. Sit, hold it, sit, sit, stay, thank you, stay. These mojo ducks have revolutionized bird hunting. They add a whole dimension to your spread. Movement, color, flash. They see a group of birds in this area and they just can't help but uh, come down. Let me come around guys. Where are they at? Time to come around. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Woo! Hot and heavy, baby! Oh, we rocked them. That's what I'm talking. Stay. Stay. <laughs> However you did that. Awesome. That Stay. Awesome. We lit into up. them and knocked that front front group out right as they crossed. That was yeah. bad to the bone. That was how it was supposed to be done. Girl. Sit. Damn, sit. Sit. Back out there. How many we get? Four, Four I think. Maybe five. Five. five one. Six. Oh, that was six birds in one come, group. Come. Come. Awesome. Sit. Damn, sit. sit. That was six birds with one group coming in. Awesome. Awesome. Pick them up. Dead bird. That a girl. There's three more out there still. See it? See it? That was rock hey, star. Awesome. Come here, Mark. I got that. No, no. We're gonna have any that way, do we? We had a triple. He's way over on the other side. That a girl, come. He knows where we're at. He, uh, 
I think he was crippled. I don't know. He's crippled. I don't know. He's going. Good girl. Come. Hold that bird. Come. Come. Good girl. Sit. 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 Mark. I got them. Where are you going? She's covering the whole decoy spread. She just picked some other ones up. Working the spread. That was awesome. Had a girl. She saw both of them in her mouth. Come. Got to break her that. That one group, man, they were all together, and they were just. That was awesome. Come. Come. What? I got that. Dang it. I keep thinking there's one over there. Back. Back. Got a girl. Come. 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 See it. Hold. Hold it. That's green one. I like to see with the green. Good girl. Get up. Get up. Well, as you can see, conditions have changed. We have some fog moving in. It's not heavy fog, but it could inhibit these birds from moving. Birds don't like to fly if they can't see. So they may stay down for a while here. Let's see how it works out. When it comes to the flight patterns of these birds, the, the teal variety come through much earlier in the season or in the year. They come through in September. And later in the year, the big ducks, like we call them, uh, migrate through. So the blue wing teal come through first, then the green wing, uh, cinnamon are kind of interspersed, but they move through this area because they're on their way to migration pattern. They're going somewhere. And so we set up on them, and uh, uh, later in the year, we have to wear much warmer clothing, even here in Texas, and we get lots of other bigger ducks and many other species uh, moving through the same area. So it's uh, September, it can be a little warm, and uh, deal wing hunt today, wide open style. <sighs> Conditions have definitely, definitely worsened we have more fog to hold these birds back. And we've probably got about 45 minutes to an hour at the most. So maybe it'll burn off. We'll see how it goes. All right, we may have a little break here. The fog looks like it's lifting. The sun is burning through. We probably got about another 45 minutes of hunting. Maybe some more birds are gonna come over this tank dam. We're gonna be ready. Sun's definitely burned out now. Quarter to nine. Will this fog lifting get these birds in the air? Okay, on the left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job, guys. I tell you what, 
smoking hot. We waited, the conditions got worse. Fog came in, then, then it burned out. The sun burned off that fog. We thought this is it, because it's already about 9.15. I thought this hunt is over, and another great group came in. That was the way it works on wide open if you wait it out. That was awesome. Awesome. What was that, six? <laughs> yes, sir, six. Another six down. That's what I'm talking about. Good shooting right there. I tell you. Let them work the spread, and they came right on in, and we just picked out our uh, shooting lanes and worked on them. And said, the results speak for themselves. Absolutely. And then we waited. That one came back around. We did. Boom. Took him out, too. Yep. That's how it works on the wide open outdoors. We worked as a team. Basically, I shoot birds on the left, Doug down there on the right, and Will right in the center. Stay on your pattern, stay on your effort, and you'll make things happen better for the end result. That was smoking hot. Hey! Will, tell me a little bit about why you got into guiding, specifically got bird hunting. Well, um, it's uh, an exhilarating rush to know that you are fooling a wild bird into thinking that that's his friends down there and he needs to come hang out with them. Well, there's an art to it. Yeah, there is. I love the way you call that last group in. I mean, you really had to work them. There it is. It's it's uh, when they see the decoys, you know, they'll first come in and they'll see them and they're not quite sure. So they'll want to come around and get a better look at everything. Make sure the scene is safe, if you will. Make sure all his friends are happy and comfy and <laughs> that there's no predators around. And once they finally make that commitment, they cut those wings and they just glide right on in. Those feet stick out go, and go. when they're about a foot oh, off girl. the water, feet sticking out, wings cupped as they're falling, perfect shot. You just, you can't go wrong with it. Well, and this blind is awesome. This cover that sticks up and this is a portable blind that you move around and we got a cattle guard cable around it. Tell you what, this is a great setup in the middle of this tank. Perfect, right in their flight pattern. Awesome hunting today on wide open. Him up. Nothing like seeing a dog work. You're absolutely right. That's what that dog lives for. It's amazing. Hold it. Good girl. Come here. Atta girl. Hold him. Hold it. Hold it. It's all part of the training on a dog. She's just a year old. But she's, she's picking it up pretty fast. Sit. Drop. Good girl. Good girl. Well, I'm glad you guys joined us on Wide Open Outdoor Adventures. It was a two day hunt. As you saw, we got stalled out that first day with the fog, but we stayed at it day two. Fog came back in, then it lifted, and it got good. What do you think, Will? How would you summarize it? I think it was a good hunt. We uh, worked hard for them over two days, and the second day it really paid out for us. It was a good, good, solid hunt. Well, we provided you some information along the way, little factoids that can make you a better outdoorsman. Well, Doug, what's your summary of your thoughts of this uh, two-day effect? It was awesome. It was great, absolutely great. And Will's got some good property that we're hunting on, and uh, when we did have the birds that came in. We really monopolized on it, and we made some, some great shots. And uh, it, was, it was a great hunt. Yeah, we had two groups come in where we got six birds down, and that's smoking hot. Good fun in the wide open outdoors. I'll see you next week. All right, guys, let's go figure out what we're going to do next. Maybe a fishing trip, huh? Yeah, let's go fishing. <laughs> Special thanks to our amazing sponsors. We couldn't do what we do without them. Just get out there. Visit WideOpenSportsman.com every day for your daily fix of adrenaline. You know, it's always wide open. <laughs>